Hi, my name is Miss Amanda and I work at the Stonecrest Library. Today we're going to do some art with some leaves. So what are you going to need? You're going to need um, a hammer or you can use a mallet or you can use a very um, heavy pan that's got a small surface. You're going to um, need either a table or some type of hard surface. You can do that outside. Today I'm using a, a small piece of uh, wood. If you don't have a piece of wood, you can use a book, but you might want to put something over it just to kind of protect the jacket cover. And then put the wax paper on top of that if you wanted to and use that as a surface. And then you're going to go outside and you're going to pick a variety of things. Um, you can pick some flowers. I've got a flower here today that we're going to do. Um, you can pick um, some evergreens. Uh, so I have cedar, but you can use a pine uh, leaf. Um, and a variety of other leaves. Um, I've got here a couple other leaves. This is a great leaf that I found out in my yard and a couple others. You do want to make sure that your leaf is not waxy. You need to pick it fairly quickly because um, you want it still to be have some wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to pound it um, on a surface um, and then you're going to um, transfer that coral flow um, and the pigments onto a piece of paper. You're also going to need some wax paper and you're gonna use it sunny side up. So we'll go ahead and use some paper and some plain copy paper. Okay. And in a second, we're gonna get ready and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you're gonna get your hard surface. And as I said, you can do this on the table, um, but I only have a card table here, or you can use a piece of wood. You can take your wood or uh, your hard surface and you're gonna lay your wax paper and you want it kind of waxy side up, okay? Then you're gonna take your leaf, and I'm gonna do the cedar leaf, do a small cedar leaf there. You're gonna place that on top of your wax paper. You'll start seeing it turn green. I'll do a close up of this in a minute with a different planet. Okay, so there you can see it's close up, and I'm sitting this set up, and you can see a little bit that you can get a little bit from the side. Now, what we're really doing is we're going to peel this off, and you'll see. And there's my leaf print. So I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to scrape away the bits. Okay, so now we're going to do a different one just to show a different variety. So I've got a flower that I found out in the yard, so a little weed. And I'm going to uh, do the same thing that we did with the uh, cedar leaf. Okay, so there you can see this is the outside of the paper. I'm going to flip it over, take it up. Now it is kind of messy right there, so you're just going to peel it. And as I said, we're going to wait, but you can see a little bit of the plow power. We're going to wait and let that dry, and um, in a minute we'll come back and look at all our um, prints that we've made for the day. Okay, I'm back. So. Here are some of the leaf prints that we have, and they still have some stuff on there. So what I did, I've got a knife, and it's dried a little bit. So you're just going to slightly just go over it just to get rid of some of that extra stuff. And some of it's going to be fine, but you don't want any really heavy stuff. So that's the one that we have. Okay. And then let's look at that flower one that we did. So again, I had a lot of stuff on there, so just kind of scrape it off. 
just slightly. You just need the back end of the and there it is. And I'll get a better shot in a second here. I'll do that. So I did a couple different ones. And I'm just scraping it onto the wax paper that I used because that way I could just throw all that together all the way. Let's try that again, see if I can get any, oh there we go, get a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna show you the finished product. I got a little blue notebook so it kind of shows a little bit better. So that was the flower that we did. This is one of the cedar leaves. This is one of the uh, round leaves that we did, that I did. And this is one of the longer cedar leaves. And so you can turn it any what way you want to. And this one is where I barely counted. So you can change the amount that you add and you pound to get a different effect. So I hope you had fun today, and I can't wait to see some of your prints that you've done. Until next time.